Okay, so today we're finishing off making this 18 karat gold statement ring. Now I'm literally obsessed with this ring and how this turns out at the end is so beautiful. These are the stones going into it, but we also have some little diamonds going into the ring. So I need to grab those little diamonds out of the eternity band that the client gave to me. It's a platinum eternity band and basically I am just backing the diamonds out by folding the eternity band and letting the diamonds come loose naturally. So then I pop the diamonds in the ring layout so that they're all set to go. This is actually going to be an empowerment ring. So it's an old engagement set and the client is having all of that um, taken apart and then put into this ring. So the main diamond in this ring is actually um, the diamond from her engagement ring. So I start off by filing up my casting. I do this with a cut zero file just to get all of the casting marks out. Then I take my little sanding wheels and I file up the inside gently with a cut two file and then I sand over it so it's much shinier, much smoother on the inside. I'm going to do this all over the ring. Um, this takes a while and the ring gets really hot as well because of the friction. But now the ring is at a pre-polish so it's ready for setting. I put it on my GRS vise, you know how much I love this, and I start by setting my small diamonds first. I always set my small stones first just because I find that easiest, so it kind of gets the ball rolling for me mentally to stone set. Stone setting is very difficult, so that's why I like to do the easiest parts first just to gain my confidence on a piece. Then I go in and set the colourful small stones, so these are pink and blue tourmalines. Once I've set all the small stones, I start looking at setting the bigger stones. This is when this piece really starts to come together and my phone keeps moving, sorry. So the way that these stones, oh my gosh, I just can't, I can't. I just, I'm so proud of this one. I set the central diamond and just look, there's just nothing else I can say. This is, this is my favourite piece I've ever made. I'm obsessed and I've got so many more pieces I'm making like this. Thank you so much for watching this video.